Welcome back to GNF Legacy Farm. This is Kelsey and today we are preg checking a heifer. So this heifer was AI'd about I think 45 days ago now. So we're just going to do a cheap and simple blood test today and send it out to a layup and see if she is in fact bred. So we are going to draw blood here on her tail about in that area right there. Now this is the best place to actually draw blood on cattle. Um, I know I've seen videos before where people get upset that they're drawing blood in the tail, but I've had this heifer for a while. I know that she does not like her neck being poked, but she is a lot better for her tail. And like I said, it's also it's recommended. This is where you're supposed to do it. So she does a lot better with this. Pulling the blood. Need about two ounces. Or you need about two cc's. I'm gonna get a little extra. Okay, I'm good here. Pull it out. You could apply pressure, but she's bleeding stop. So I'm not worried about it. And then, see, I've got my blood in my syringe. And the way I do it is just poke it in the vacutainer. And it'll start, the suction will start pulling it out itself, but you can help it too. So this is a three milliliter or three cc tube, and you need at least two cc's. Okay, see how easy that was? We're just going to get this wrapped up in the house and sent out to the post office. We'll find out if we're having a cute little mini calf. Okay guys, now I did just want to talk about a couple more things. Um, now that we're done with drying the blood, I'm just going to give Dolly a good brushing because she is a little dirty. It's been uh, very muddy. It's that lovely time of year where things aren't quite frozen yet and kind of can get a little wet and nasty. So for those of you who have never met my sweet Dolly, um, I've had videos of her before. She is a Dexter heifer and she is I believe just under 40 inches at the top of her tail. So like right here, this is the highest point on her back and she's about 40 inches right there. Um, she is near maturity actually. So she will not get much bigger. She is a mini super dog. But Dexters don't really get much bigger, so I don't call her a mini Dexter. Um, because Dexters are meant to be small. So we got her to be a uh, milk cow actually in the future. She's going to be my milk cow and also. Um, we're going to breed some cute calves out of her. So that is our plan for Miss Dolly. She is halter broke, super sweet. As you can see, she um, is very easy going. And so I just, in case anyone hadn't met Dolly yet, I just kind of wanted to give a little um, explanation, especially if someone saw her size. I didn't want them to think that she was a full size, you know, um, heifer and be like concerned that I was breeding her at this age because she is actually 18 months old. So she is perfectly fine to breed. Um, she's old enough. She is just going to be small her entire life. And she was bred to a small bull to produce a small calf. So if you have any other questions about Dolly, I do have some more videos of her um, as well. And feel free to comment and I would be more than happy to give you some more information on my sweet dolly and um the other minis that i have of course i have a little front view of this dolly so she is cute to the she's adorable loves treats okay so we're getting ready to send our tube of blood off to the lab so the lab that i use is 
DA Tri Cooperative, I believe it is out of Columbus, Ohio. And so I just print this form um, from the internet and go ahead and you fill out all your information. And it shows you here like the dates. So for cattle, it has to be 28 days post breeding or 73. Three days post calving, heifers, 25 days post breeding. It gives you all the information. You can also do sheep and goats with this Bioprint pregnancy test. And then you just fill out over here the name of the animal, how many days bred. And then on your tube, you just write the name on it. And if you don't do names, um, like if you just have tag numbers or whatever, you can do that. Um, there was one time actually when I had a pair of that I was doing and one had horns and one didn't and I wrote horned and dehorned for the names. Um, it doesn't matter. I mean, they're really good about that. So you just put that on there and fill this sheet out. Now they have kits online that you can buy, which is what I originally did um, for these. Otherwise, I believe it's like $3 a piece. It's super cheap. And that's what I do. And then I just go and mail it um, with, the, with the flat rate boxes at the post office. So I believe that's about $8. So you figure about $11 said and done and you know if your animal is bred or not. Um, that's way cheaper than calling the vet help. So if you're comfortable doing the blood draws, I highly recommend it. Like I said, it's super easy. Um, it, it's not, don't be intimidated by it at all. So, and you can do up to, there was another sheet with this too. So you can do up to like a hundred um, at a time, but we are just doing one today. So I'll go ahead and get this filled out and then I'll show you um, how you package the blood as well. Okay, so I know this looks kind of weird, but um, and there, there's directions with it and it tells you to take the vial of blood, wrap it up in paper towel, enough paper towel that if this were to break in transit, the paper towel would soak it up. So that's why it looks really strange, but you wrap it in the paper towel and then you put it in a like Ziploc style bag. This is really hard to do one handed. And um, seal that up. And then when you put it in the box, you're supposed to write on the box exempt animal specimen because you don't have to like pay any extra money or anything like that to ship blood you don't need anything else because it is exempted for um being an animal specimen so now i will warn you that occasionally you might get someone at the post office that is not used to this and um can maybe try to give you a little bit of trouble about it but like i've i've done my research and i've done this many times so I know what is required and I um, I pretty much don't let them give me trouble because I know what I'm doing. And like I said, I've done this many times. So I've done my research. I know what needs to be done. All you have to do is write exempt animal specimen on it and ship it out. So don't let them give you trouble for that. Um, and that's about it. So we'll go ahead and get that shipped out. And it'll take... Um, Usually I get results within about a week. Now, once they have it at their facility, it's 24 hours. And they'll let you know. Um, it says here you can get report by fax, phone, or email. I always do email, um, or I guess mail actually too. I always do email. That way I have it kind of as a record. So, all right. We're going to go ahead and ship this out and find out if we have a broad heifer. Thank you guys. Have a great day.